Hi, welcome to another Restoration Couple DIY project. Today we're going to be looking at some shelving. Okay, so Jo has taken the girls away for the day to her parents, so it's going to give me a chance to get some of the jobs done around the house. So the first job is going to be the kitchen alcove here. We've got a larder at the moment, but it's absolutely jam-packed, uh, full of stuff, and it's just really uh, inaccessible, really, to get stuff out when we need it. So I'm going to do some open shelving here. So down at the bottom, under the bottom shelf, uh, I've got a kitchen hanger, which we had at our old house. So I quite like to use that. So that's going to go on the wall uh, to hang utensils from, and then we'll have um, a series of shelves going up from there. So the lowest two shelves are going to be um, dictated by the height of a kilner jar. We've got lots and lots of um, ingredients that are stored in kilner jars. So I, I'll need to measure those, give a, you know, an inch or two above that uh, for a bit of space, and we'll probably make them too deep. That's the plan for the bottom two, and then I've got a whole library full of cookbooks that I want to get on the shelf above that. Uh, obviously we're going to need a stool to get to some of those, but we want to make the most of that storage space, and that's the best way to do it. Okay, I've done a bit of a cut list last night, trying to speed things along, and here we are with the kitchen at the top here. So I've got to do a boxing around some pipe work at the bottom. Once that's boxed in, then we're going to go straight up with all the shelves, and I'm going to cut those from an old pine dining table. Alright, let's try and get some light in here, it's a really gloomy day today. Okay, so I finally managed to have a bit of a tidy up out here, okay. uncover the workbench. Okay, so I've actually flipped over the tabletop already. Um, this is an old pine solid uh, tabletop that we bought just after we got married, so it's nice to be able to reuse it again. I've actually got a bit of a thing for buying old tables. Some of them are solid oak um, and some of them are pine like this, and, and actually they're perfect for ripping down into shelves or doing anything with really. Um, this one especially because it's full staves, so it's you know there are there are no joins in the length of it. So last night I managed to get this off, which is the subframe, um, which the legs would have attached to. Here's some uh, still photos of that now. And all that left me with was a little bit of cleanup to do uh, where the glue where they glued it basically to the underside of the tabletop. So um, I just ran a plane over that and we took that down so it's nice and flat and we'll sand that. Of course that's the bottom anyway, but we're going to see the underside of those shelves so I want to make sure it's nice and clean. The next job to do will be to start ripping uh, the, the shelves to width here. But the very first thing I need to do is just complete that box section which is around that ducting so we can measure up and, and mark our shelving from there. I'm getting a bit behind now, um, so what I need to do uh, is get these supports up on the wall. Because uh, it's really thick 40mm tabletop that we're using for the shelves, I'm just going to use uh, a support either end, nothing along the back. Uh, I think that should be fine. And I'm going to use, I've got some of this bull nose um, architrave left over. And it's already prime white, so that's handy. Now need to mark on the wall where our supports are going. Uh, that's how they've come out. Look quite nice, and I think once the uh, the fixings are in and filled, um, we're going to have quite a nice soft look. And it painted the same colour as the wall, I think. So uh, they should be uh, pretty subtle. So we've got three to go up this side because uh, our bottom shelf is going to sit on top of that boxing. Uh, the granite is perfectly level, so I'm going to measure up the 640, the same as the boxing. I'll put our first one in over there. So 
So I've drilled that kind of counter sink with that force of the bit. And I'm gonna drill a second hole through. Just so we don't have any splitting. And then we'll switch to a hammer drill. A six mil bit for these, um, these are kind of concrete screws that I'm using there that don't need plugs. Right, next I'm going to uh, sand down the back. So this will be the bottom of the shelves, but I just want to uh, make sure it's smooth so that when we put the fish finish on it, it's going to look, uh, look decent from below. Okay, so that's the whole underside of the table done in 80 grit, just to take off any of the uh, glue that was left on there or any of the rough bits. So I can't get two of the shelves out of the length of it, so I think what's going to be best is to cross cut uh, the whole table first and then I can rip that section. That'll mean I've got a usable piece for something else in the future. So um, I'm not going to be able to do this on the cross cut sled, nor am I going to be able to do it with the fence, so I'm going to do it with a circular saw and a jig. See what I mean? That they're um, they're full length saved. You know, there's no joins. So it's actually a really strong bit of timber. This. Mm, I'm not sure if it's going to fit. I found a solution which is going to be to cut it kind of um, 10 mil over. And then after that, we can cut it down on the um, on the sled afterwards. Okay, things are taking shape now, so we need to go um, take this down to the widths, and we need to make sure we do that so we've got the uh, the length of the wood. We don't want to end up with a butcher's block style shelf because uh, there'll be no strength in it at all. Good luck, that one. Well, we've got three shelves cut to width and if you saw I flip around the table because uh, it's actually got a nice soft bull nose on the edge the original edge of the table so two of our shelves have already got that which means we only have to uh, you know route to the edge on one of them but I think they look pretty cool certainly uh, gonna be nice and solid So that worked well, just uh, cutting them to length, and I think it's pretty accurate as well. So um, I've left them at probably uh, about five mil too long. Um, some of them may fit, but what I wanted to do is get them nice and snug to the wall, so we can check them, come out, take a slither off, and then go and refit. I think it's be better that way. Right. Um, Got to finish the front edge now, and I was tempted to use a, a router and go over and put a, a you know a really nice bull nose on both top and bottom. Um, but looking at how it was done in the past, it's just been done with a sander, just to soften the corner. But I think I'm going to take a few passes with the plane, just two or three, just to take the corner off, and then I'll soften it out.
and uh, everything's to be looking pretty silky smooth. Okay, I've just uh, put a bit of an oak stain on these just to uh, make them tie in with the rest of the kitchen units. And I'll just leave that to dry for a little bit and then we can wax them with some uh, steel wool to finish. Right, we've got the first shelf in. And what I need to do is I need to um, just scribe around those pipes on each one. So I'm gonna put one shelf up, mark up, and then I'll go out and cut all of them the same. No. So I don't think that's gonna fit on any of them. So I need to take three mil off that to start with. Finally, we're getting somewhere. I've notched out these in the corner for the pipes to go in. Trim them all down by about two or three mil, so hopefully they should all just slide in now. Uh, but we'll soon see. So two out of three isn't bad. Pretty good. Yeah, it's not going to get much more level than that in this house. Okay, so we're going to take a slither off that one. What do you think? So I've had a quick clean up, everything's been nice and tidy. And now it's one of my favourite parts, which is just to give it a final wax. So that granite is back in place now, um, that L-shaped bit, I've siliconed it and caulked it to the wall so that's all going off nicely. Um, I've waxed all these now, there's a little bit of snagging to do but I'm just so impatient I want to uh, get it finished. Don't know if you're like me but just desperate to get something on the shelves and finish the job so. Buff down all this wax. Um, just so we can get it nice and uh, a nice sort of luster finish on it. Oh, that is smooth. Okay, time to get this guy loaded up. So really happy with yesterday's project and how it's come out. Uh, Joe's really pleased to have the extra storage as well. Uh, and that kind of makes a nice feature of this corner of the kitchen. And although the units in the kitchen are all made of oak, I think the colour match is pretty good. And they seem to tie in with the rest of the kitchen. So it's a pretty simple way of using an old tabletop or some worktop uh, to make some shelves. And actually it works out quite a bit cheaper than going to a DIY store and finding pine furniture board 
Um, so have a look locally, you might find a second hand dining table which would be perfect for the job. And if you have enjoyed the video, please make sure you give us a thumbs up below. It gives us a really good idea of what video content you guys are up for and what you want to see more of. So I think that's pretty much it for this one. As always, thank you for supporting and watching the Restoration Couple uh, channel. And remember, if you can, do it yourself and we'll see you next time.